And it's a working weekend on Capitol Hill. Vice President Kamala Harris cast a deciding vote advancing an Inflation Reduction Act in the Senate today. But as Deborah Alvarez reports, it still has to clear the House. Congressional Democrats are a step closer to handing the White House a much-needed political victory. Today, the Senate approved a massive spending bill that addresses some of President Biden's domestic priorities, including health care costs and climate change. This bill will kickstart the era of affordable clean energy in America. It's a game changer. It's a turning point. And it's been a long time in coming. With Republicans unanimously opposed to the Inflation Reduction Act, it was left to Vice President Kamala Harris to cast a tie-breaking vote. The yeas are 50, the nays are 50. The Senate being equally divided, the Vice President votes in the affirmative, and the bill, as amended, is passed. The GOP has framed the bill as a package of tax hikes and unnecessary spending that could hurt the economy. We, we should be raising taxes ever, but especially in a recession, and why would we be raising the taxes um, on gas right now when it's $2 above what it was when Joe Biden took office? Democrats say the bill will ease inflation and reduce the federal deficit as well. It provides the IRS with $80 billion in new funding to go after high-income tax evaders. It also imposes a 15% minimum tax on large corporations. Very few pieces of legislation will ever make the kind of impact that this climate bill will have. The bill still must be approved by the House, which could come as early as Friday, when its members return from a summer recess. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, New York.